Good morning, this is Dwayne, and I'd like to ask you a question. What makes music tick? Have you ever thought about that? What, what are the guts of music? What's the inside the, what, what makes music work? Like as, when you see a car drive down the road, you know that there's a motor of some sort in it, some way, some method of propulsion. When you see an airplane, you know there's a jet motor there or, or something that propels it, right? Well, what is it that propels music? What is it that makes music tick? Well, the answer is very simple and very complex at the same time. The answer is called music theory, but that's not a satisfying answer because it doesn't tell you what makes music tick because there's many, many areas of music theory. But what I want to get across to you today is that it's so important to learn all the elements of music theory that you can. And I don't think anybody can learn all elements of music theory, but learn the basics of music theory so that you can understand what's going on in music when you play it or when you listen to it, okay? Let me give you an example. One element of music theory is called the circle of fifths or the circle of fourths. It's really the same circle. It's just, uh, it just if you go one way, it's up a fourth, and if you go another way, it's, it's up a fifth and so on, okay? It's called the circle of fifths, and we, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But I want to show you how that works in a piece of sheet music. This is called uh, All the Things You Are from a movie called Very Warm for May by Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein. A great classic old uh, pop tune. And uh, we're in the key of A flat here. And you can't see the music, but I want you to watch the chord progressions. Okay, the chord progression is F minor to B flat minor to E flat to A flat to D flat. G7, then then to C, okay? Let's just take it that far. F minor to B flat minor, E flat to A flat to D flat, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Notice anything about that? If you notice that each chord was a fourth higher or a fifth lower, you're absolutely right. In other words, the first chord was F, the next chord was four notes higher, B flat. The next chord was four notes higher, E flat. The next chord was four notes higher. The next chord was four notes higher, D flat, okay? So we went from F to B flat, to E flat, to A flat, to D flat. Without knowing music theory, you would say, uh, so what? Well, the what is, it goes that chord progression goes right around the circle of fourths or the circle of fifths. We're going up a fourth or down a fifth, okay? And if you knew the circle of fourths, you would immediately recognize that that's moving in that direction, okay? You'd immediately recognize that. And musicians uh, that uh, play the piano and know music theory or play any instrument no music theory would immediately recognize that, okay? That's just one area of music theory. There's many, many areas, okay? So let's take a look at that uh, circle of fourths or fifths. By the way, it doesn't matter what you call it. Uh, purists will say, hey, that's a circle of fifths. It's not the circle of fourths. Well, you know, it depends which way you go. If you go clockwise, it's one thing. If you go counterclockwise, it's the other thing. But the point is, all the points of the compass, there's 12 major keys, of course, and you can go that circle accounts for all 12 of the major keys, all right? And it shows what chords are related to which chords, okay? In other words, the F chord is more closely related to the B flat chord than it is to lots of other chords. The next chord, E flat, is more closely related to A flat, and A flat's related, related to D flat, okay? So it moves around the circle, just that, okay? Now let's look at the next page. Uh, of all the things you are, and it's C minor to F minor, B flat seventh to E flat to A flat to D flat, okay? So we go around the circle again, but this time it starts on C and goes to F to B flat to A flat, uh, E flat to A flat, okay? So there's many, many examples in songs where uh, the circle of uh, fifths is in place. And if you don't know music theory, you wouldn't have a clue of what's going on, okay? 
Now, I know that sounds a little complex, but it's necessary to know music theory if you really want to understand what makes music tick. So that's my little sermon for today. Uh, so I advocate that you learn as much about music theory as you can. There's lots of fine courses uh, available on music theory. I have one, but lots of people have a good course on music theory. And of course, you can go to a college, any college, and take a, a course in music theory. Even uh, 10, Music Theory 101 would be a huge help because you'd learn the basics of music like that. Okay, that's it for today. And if you enjoy these tips, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for our free newsletter on chords and chord progression. So we'll see you there. Bye-bye for now.